Don't let your AC system get knocked down by the heat this upcoming summer. Call KS Services and let our team come take a look. We repair and install all makes and models. We even offer a free no hassle quote and second opinion, so give us a call today. With our flexible financing, you can literally pick your payment. We may even be able to help you knock down that utility bill a bit. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort. This is your Weather Extreme video for Saturday, August the 11th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Thanks so much for tuning in. Our satellite image this morning shows we do see some clouds over uh, Alabama. And uh, harder to see, though, is that we do have some fog going on. Surface uh, weather map is somewhat convoluted with a couple of different uh, stationary fronts being drawn in there. But I think uh, the bottom line is we're going to see a little bit drier air, thanks in part to the fact that the upper air pattern features this trough over the eastern Great Lakes that's making its influence felt down into the southeastern U.S. and turning our wind uh, to a more northerly direction aloft, and that's helping to reduce the precipitable water values. So the amount of moisture in the atmosphere that can be precipitated out is less. Uh, surface map uh, the uh, observations indicate that uh, you can see the fog basically over the northern half of the state of Alabama. From those uh, fog observations there, those are the, the lines to the left of the uh, station model circle. And uh, there are no flat, um, uh, dense fog advisories in effect for central Alabama or northern Alabama, but we do have some dense fog in middle Tennessee and up into eastern Kentucky, as well as in parts of uh, Illinois, Ohio, and extreme southern Michigan as well as a good deal of the state of Minnesota. The pinks and reds you see, uh, the pinks uh, are uh, high fire danger, and the uh, more, uh, deeper red colors are heat uh, warnings. Our QPF, uh, quantitative precipitation forecast for the next five days, this is through Thursday morning, indicates a rather uh, relative minimum, as we're going to see a little bit less in the way of shower activity. The excessive rainfall uh, outlook includes um, several uh, Slight risk areas for excessive rainfall uh, along uh, the main uh, frontal boundary that it'll be dissipating over the next uh, couple of days. And SPC has only a small marginal risk for severe storms over Arizona, and that's much the way it is for days two and three. And the tropics, yes, we do have a little bit of a low latitude tropical wave that uh, right now NHC is not giving uh, a very high probability for intensification, although it will be. Uh, moving in an area where it may see a, a little bit more favorable conditions uh, over five days, not for the next couple of days. And in the eastern Pacific, we do have one area of concern off the coast of Mexico there, plus Christie well out into the eastern, at, um, the eastern Pacific. All right, the 06 EGFS model run, and there's our trough. Uh, and uh, that is uh, beginning to show signs of moving a little bit to the east. But there's precipitable water values, and you can see we have a relative minimum. It's below about 1.4 inches. So uh, that's good. That means uh, a few less showers over the area and actually not putting showers in the forecast at all for today. Uh, the, the trough and the closed low are over the eastern Great Lakes, and uh, that keeps us uh, uh, Sunday with uh, some drier air coming in, especially into the Tennessee River Valley. Um, and we stay still a little bit uh, around 1.5, so I think probably we'll introduce a 20% chance of showers or thunderstorms. The closed low begins to uh, sh shape up a little more on um, Monday as it begins to uh, move out of the area, but that northerly flow brings some drier air aloft, and uh, you can see those values coming into the Tennessee River Valley less than one inch. When we get to uh, Tuesday, we have a little bit of a weak ridge coming over us between kind of uh, we're stuck between the trough over Pennsylvania and New York and the uh, trough coming in across eastern Nebraska and Kansas. Uh, so uh, look for Tuesday and Wednesday probably to be the highest days for temperature. And uh, looks like showers will still be at a bit of a minimum. Wednesday, that uh, the ridge, the, the, the rather small ridge, moves off uh, to the east coast, and we see the trough coming in, and that should be bringing uh, a, a surface low across the southern part of the Great Lakes area and a front down into the uh, uh, central and lower Mississippi River Valley. That trough moves on on Thursday, 
So that drags the front down into our area, and um, I think we have to raise the uh, chances for precipitation up into the 40% range probably. And we stay that way on Friday as the pattern becomes very flat. Still slight troughiness, but rather flat across the area. But with the presence of the front in the area, that's going to help to perhaps enhance showers just a little bit, uh, become a little bit more numerous than they will the first part of the week. We see the flat pattern more or less staying with us with the ridge way out in the west and the front just draped across our area for uh, the start of next weekend for Saturday. So it looks like we may see a little bit better chances once again on Saturday. Looking out into voodoo country and uh, we see that uh, there's a fairly good trough around the 20th of August. So that keeps us out of any really excessive heat. But the uh, GFS suggesting that the Bermuda High uh, at least at the upper uh, levels, will move into the southeastern U.S. From the, uh, from the east. So it looks like maybe around the 22nd, uh, 23rd of August, we could see some fairly warm weather. But fortunately, this is the year of the trough over the eastern part of the country, I think. And there we go. We see a more uh, uh, troughiness develop with a fairly large trough over the western Great Lakes. And that helps to push back uh, the big ridge, push it back out into the Atlantic. That does it for the Weather Extreme video for this morning. I expect to have the next one posted first thing here Sunday morning. Enjoy your Saturday and Godspeed. Summer's just around the corner and KS Services wants to be the team ensuring your comfort. We repair and install all makes and models. So give us a call today to get a free, no hassle second opinion. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.